hello we are deer we are just grazing on some foliage here deer are quadrupedal mammals deer are hoofed mammals deer have antlers well typically only male deer have antlers and they use their antlers during the mating season to scare off other males or to or they use their antlers for dominance male deer use their antlers to display dominance during the mating season a male deer is called a buck and a female is usually called a female deer are typically called does not doe like cookie dough, but doe like D. You spell it like D-O-E. We're just grazing on foliage. Hello, I am the American bison. The American bison is the largest living land mammal in North America. The largest living animal in North America. Male bison can weigh more than 2,000 pounds. Or... Or... Females are usually smaller. Male bison are called bulls, while female bison are called cows. Male bison can weigh 2,200 pounds and stand 10 feet tall and be about 11 feet in length. I'm also grazing on grass. Bison have shaggy fur. They grow a beard on the chin. They are hoofed mammals. They have horns. And and bison are sometimes referred to as American buffalo. But buffalo and bison are very distinct animals. Both species of bison tend to be larger than buffalo on average. Mmm, so delicious. I'm a mountain goat. Don't be fooled by its name. Mountain goat is not a true goat. The mountain goat is more related to antelopes and other bovine species. They belong to the bovine family or bovidae family. Yeah. <sighs> I'm an elk. The elk is probably the second largest species of deer after the moose. Red deer and elk are sometimes mistaken for each other, but bull elk can weigh 700 pounds, and typically red deers only weigh 400 pounds. Predators of elk include wolves, bears, mountain lions, and other predators. <sighs> Dang, that is a big deer. Is that a moose? No, I think that's an elk. Yeah, I'm a bull elk. You can tell by the antlers. Also, deer reshed and grow their antlers. Reshed their antlers every year. Oh. So delicious. I see an elk. Should we ambush the elk? Well, yeah, go ahead if you want to do it. We're cougars. Cougar refers to a large cat. Cougar is the animal with the highest number of names, with 40 in English alone. Cougars are known as pumas, mountain lions, catamounts, painters, mountain screamers, and ghost cats. Um, I don't know if I can take down that bull. Maybe you can take down that bull elk. I'll try to, but elk are very graceful animals. I have to remain stealthy. A cougar can leap up to 18 feet horizontally or 40 feet. They have large hind legs and large paws. Cougars have a tan coat, much like an African lion, but their head is smaller in proportion to their body size. Peter, kill him, Peter. Uh, my name is Peter the Puma, by the way. Uh, get off of me! Uh, 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 yeah! Uh, 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 get off 
of me, you mountain lion. Yeah! Yeah! I'm out of here. No, you failed to kill the elk. Man, come on. Peter, you disappoint me. Well, I'm sorry. The elk was like twice my size. That elk weighed 730 pounds. And mountain lions typically only weigh 100 kilograms or 220 pounds. But the biggest mountain lion in recorded history weighed a whopping 276 pounds or 125 kilogram. Well, there's a deer right there we can hunt. There's like two deer deers right there so maybe you can go hunt them the deer obviously know obviously know we're planning to ambush them so what else should we do i mean the deer is right there just 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 go ahead just ambush them why can't you ambush them likely because i'm not too big enough well i am big enough to hunt prey on my own but i'm pregnant and yeah, and I'm raising, I'm nourishing, and I'm raising cubs. So you need to do all the hunting. Cougars are mostly solitary animals. The only time you you will see a cougar interact interacting with other cougars is when a mother cougar is raising her cubs. Other than that, they are completely solitary animals. The closest relatives of cougars are jaguar rundies and cheetahs. Okay, fine. Oh, oh my gosh! Uh, uh. Mountain lions have a bite force of nearly 400 PSI, which is enough to kill their prey. There. There, I killed the deer. Happy? Now we can eat this deer carcass in peace. Cougars will usually bury their food and come back to feed on it later. Although large, the cougar isn't always the apex predator in its home range. Yielding prey, yielding prey, it has killed to jaguars, grizzly bears, wolves, and other predators. C adult cougars are able to kill adult moose, elk, and deer. Cougars will also hunt livestock. Smaller cougars prey on rabbits, coyotes, rodents, and other prey. Uh, uh. Mm. Also, I saw a horse in the area, and the horse had a foal. A foal is a young horse. It looked like the horse was a female horse or a mare. So you're gonna expect me to kill a full grown horse too? Well, I was thinking I could actually do the deed. Uh, the horses suffer predation from jaguars and cougars and all with and almost natural levels. With some 70 kg, the cougar is too small to kill an adult horse unless the horse is in a decaying state. However, it does feed on foals, which are young horses. Well, let's start demolishing this deer carcass before other predators arrive. Well, I killed it, so I should be the one eating it. But since I'm a loyal mate, you can eat the carcass. I'm going to go look for more prey to hunt by myself. Well, okay, you're missing out on the carnilage. Mmm, mmm. Venison tastes so good. Although the cougar is thought to descend from smaller feline, cougars can grow larger than several other true big cats. Also, despite their size, cougars can't roar. Instead, the large feline purr, purrs like a house cat. Cougars can only purr and growl. They do not belong to the Panthera genus. Members of the Panthera genus, such as tigers, lions, leopards, jaguars, and snow leopards, can all roar, except the snow leopard. 
Basically, all the members in the Panthera genus, besides the snow leopard, can roar. Snow leopards can't roar. They can only growl, hiss, and prustin. Prusting is a sound by blowing air through the nose. Also, snow leopards can chuff, a non-aggressive noise, which is made by blowing air through their nose. Ooh, I see a mountain goat I can kill. What happened to my dear friend? Oh no! Oh no, that was a doe deer. I was her mate. Mm. That cougar. I don't want to be the next victim. I'm running away. <sighs> no, that deer ran away. Now I have to kill. I'm going to go pursue that goat. <sighs> don't even bother. A bison is the biggest animal in North America. Okay, cougars won't bother with a bison unless it's a calf. However, a cougar is strong enough to prey on weak bison. The cougars, much like the wolves, will attack young or weak bison, but will avoid larger bison who can fend from them who can fend for themselves. <sighs> Where's that goat? Oh, there it is. I have to be stealthy. <sighs> Mountain goats are at, are excellent climbers too. Oh, oh my gosh! Uh, 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 I need to bite the windpipe. Uh, is that a cougar attacking me? Uh, uh, oh my god! Uh, uh. Look, I killed this. Oh, well, that's good. You brought down a mountain goat? Yes, Petunia, I did. Like I said, my name is Peter the Puma. I'm a male Puma. I weigh 132 pounds. And this is my smaller female counterpart. She only weighs about 100 she only weighs about 160 pounds. We both managed to bring down a large animal. Actually, you killed this deer, not me. Thank you for thank you for killing this deer, Peter. You're welcome, Petunia. I do everything for you. That's cuz I'm nourishing cubs. And typically, when a female animal is having a fetus, she can't really do stuff she would normally do. So you're going to have to help me. Typically, male animals have, have do no part in raising young, except jackals. Jackals and foxes are among the best dads. And so are cassowaries and seahorses. Okay, you know what? I'm going to bring this deer carcass to my cubs and see how they react. They're going to think, Mom, you killed a fully grown deer, but nope. Peter did it. Your dad did it. Let me carry this goat. This goat is heavy. <sighs> Hello, I am the capybara. The capybara is also known as the chillest animal in the world, and it's also the friendliest. The capybara is also the largest living rodent. Females are slightly larger than males. Capybara, the closest relative of capybaras are the guinea pig, and the only rodent that is larger than a capybara was the extinct Joseph Ortegaza Manisi. Joseph Ortegaza Manisi was a large rodent. It was larger than a bison, possibly weighing, possibly weighing 200, 2,000 pounds, or 200, 2,000 pounds. This would make Joseph Ortegaza Manisi about 20 times bigger than a capybara and 30 and 30,000 times bigger than a really big black rat. Other than that, capybaras are not dangerous, and capybaras are herbivores, meaning capybaras only eat plants. So you won't have to worry about your capybara attacking you for food or fun. However, capybaras do have sharp teeth, and a bite from one could really hurt. Uh, 
Oh my god, there's a black caiman. The black caiman is the world's largest alligator. Caimans might look like crocodiles, but caimans are smaller members of the alligator family. Oh my gosh, caimans have been known to prey on capybaras. Jaguars, caimans, and anacondas will all prey on capybaras. An anaconda, huh? Oh my gosh, it's an anaconda, the world's heaviest snake. Yes, the anaconda might be the world's heaviest snake, but the anaconda isn't the lengthiest snake. The longest snake is the reticulated python. Oh, no! The anaconda, it's constricting me. Stop it! Oh my gosh, the anaconda has wrapped its whole body around me. Unlike king cobras, black mambas, and rattlesnakes who kill with venom anacondas are constricting snakes which mean they which mean which means they kill their prey by constricting constricting is just another word for when you wrap your body around an object and squeeze it tight the anaconda has a squeezing constricting pressure of about 90 psi huh is that an anaconda i'm a fully grown male um black caiman and i weigh 660 pounds is this a fish oh my gosh oh, oh no the crocodile the caiman hey can you stop by that whining i'm trying to eat a capybara the world's largest rodent i feel so bad for that poor capybara oh no it's constricting me oh my gosh the anaconda is constricting me uh, my blood pressure, my blood pressure. This is card. This is causing cardiac arrest. Uh, please stop. Damn, that capybara is really getting destroyed by that anaconda. The anaconda is the world's heaviest snake. Females are typically larger than males. Female anacondas will also cannibalize males, especially during the breeding season. Typically, smaller anacondas eat smaller prey, like birds and fish. Adults are able to kill much larger prey, such as deer, capybaras, and even jaguars fall prey to this snake. Uh, 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 finally, the capybara has stopped breeding, breathing. Now I can eat my meal in peace. Let me start from the head. Ugh. There. Once an anaconda has ate a big meal, an, once an anaconda has eaten a big meal, then an anaconda can go weeks or even months without eating again. Let me slither around. Anacondas are also aquatic snakes. They, they spend most of their time in or around water. This helps with their bulk. Anacondas are New World snakes native to South America. They are typically green in color. <sighs> Hello, we are horses. In case you don't know, horses are large, hoofed, even toed, ungulate animals. Horses were originally domesticated about 6,000 years ago. Horses are used as a source of transportation. A male horse is usually called a stallion. A female horse is referred to as a mare. And a baby horse is called a foal. Also, ponies are not baby horses. They are just a smaller breed of horse. Mm, so, my name is... So my name is Hannah and this is my foal. I want I want to call her um what should I name her? Ooh, maybe Heidi. Yeah, Heidi should be a good name. Yeah, mother. Uh, can I suckle on your milk? I'm a little bit hungry. Okay, you were just born, so that's totally understandable. Here.
Mm, your milk is so nutrient rich. Mm. Okay, I think that's enough suckling. Horses can't actually nourish one fetus at a time. Well, the, a horse can nourish one fetus, but it's very rare for a horse to have twins. Draft horses, Porcheron horses, and Suffolk punch horses are among the largest species. These horses can weigh nearly 2,000 pounds or 2,200 pounds. Mm. Well, you can suckle on my milk later. I'm trying to graze. Horses are herbivores, which means their entire digestive system is, is processed by plant matter. So that means a herbivore is an animal which eats exclusively plants. Their digestive system is good for processing plant material. Horses only rarely eat meat, and you can trick a horse into eating meat. But it's good to know horses should not eat meat. Because horses are pure herbivores, animals that eat only meat. Just a more... I need more milk. I'm a growing foal. And I only weigh about 150 pounds, which is 10 which is 10% of your weight. Yeah, I weigh 1,500 pounds. Uh, 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 good thing there isn't predators around. Predators of the horse include humans, mountain lions, wolves, and bears. So its ability to outrun these predators are crucial. When confronted with a predator, horses always choose to flee rather than fight. Although horses can kick their opponents, a horse's kick is nearly 2,000 pounds per square inch, which is strong enough to knock out a human. Horses also can't see directly in front of them. They can't see behind them either. So if you approach a horse, make sure don't approach them from behind, but approach the horse's shoulder or something. Horses can also sleep standing up. The oldest horse lived to be 62 years old, and the biggest horse named Samson was a horse. And oh, a horse named Samson who was foaled in 1846 was the world's tallest and heavy horse and heaviest horse he stood 21 inches hands high and was estimated to weigh about 3360 pounds he was also born in bedfordshire england also this horse was renamed mammoth cuz mammoth has been has been synonymous with giant size so this horse was the biggest horse his name was samson and the oldest horse his name was old billy he lived for 62 years horses typically only live to be 25 or 30 years the closest relatives of horses include rhinos tapers zebras and donkeys horses belong to the equine family the family branch Equus, which includes horses, asses, and donkeys, and zebras. And your newborn foal, which is a young horse, should weigh 10% of your mother's of their mother's weight. Horses have manes and tails. Horses can literally sleep standing up. The reason horses sleep standing up is complex. Horses sleep standing up because they are afraid of potential predators. And lying down can expose a horse to potential predators like wolves, bears, and mountain lions. Also, here's another shocking fact. The equus is unquestionably bigger than the grizzly, weighing twice the latter's size. The grizzly bear is a brown bear species native to North America. Speaking of grizzly bear, is that an American black bear right there? Where?
Oh, now I see. Good thing black bears are smaller and less aggressive than grizzly bears. <sighs> I stole this honey from a beehive. Bears are omnivorous, although bears were thought to be carnivorous. Bears belong to the Ursulus family or Ursidae family. Bears are among the biggest creatures on our planet. The polar bear, which is the largest living bear, although some brown bears outweigh polar bears, the biggest brown bear species is the Kodiak bear. Kodiak bears are generally much bigger and heavier than polar bears, although some extremely large polar bears have proven this fact incorrect. I'm a black bear, the world's, well, not the world's smallest bear. That honor goes to the sun bear, but black bears are smaller than polars, grizzlies, and Kodiaks. This honey is so delicious. Also, bears are related to seals and walruses. Bears are also distantly related to dogs. Many people think beer, bears are big dogs, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Bears and dogs are distant cousins, but they aren't that closely related. Is that a horse? Oh, that horse looks like it's twice my size. Like, I am twice your size. Wow, that horse is large. Well, horses are quite large cre creatures. The draft horse, in particular, is the world's largest horse breed. The Falabella horse is the smallest. <laughs> Let me go back to grazing. Well, we need to go back home because staying in the wilderness could attract predators. Huh? Is that a horse and it's full? Oh my gosh, is that a mountain lion? A cougar? <gasps> oh my gosh! Horses have nothing to fear from mountain lions. Mountain lions cannot kill an adult horse. However, mountain lions do prey on young horses. Yes, and I'm going to prey on your young horse too. You need to get the hay out of here. I don't know what your intentions are, but you're clearly not a friend of mine. And if you don't trust me, I dang sure ain't gonna trust you. Uh, <laughs> oh, crap. That horse's kick force, it was nearly 2,000 pounds. <sighs> I think I'm gonna be incapacitated. Yeah, that's right. Get the hay off my territory. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna attack your foal. Come on, we need to go back home. It's not safe. It's not safe. Come on. Huh? I'm coming. <laughs> I failed. <sighs> that horse, that young horse, should have been the easiest target. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Hello, I am a female puma. My name is Petunia. I am the mate of Peter the puma. Okay, so I'm clearly not letting you out in the wild because it's proven to be too dangerous. There are predators like mountain lions who can attack you at any time. But I thought you said adult horses don't have anything to fear. Yeah, that's adult horses like mares and stallions. And you're just, you're a young filly. Well, yeah, I know that. A male, a young male horse is called a colt and a young female is generally called a filly. So stay inside, stay indoors and don't, and don't go outside. Please just don't. Don't go outside. It's too dangerous. Predators could attack you at any time and at any circumstance. Okay, I get it. I won't I won't go outside. I won't adventure outside, okay? You got my word clear? I pr you pinky promise. You won't go outside. I pinky promise unless I'm hungry. Okay. I built this barn. I used to have other farm friends like chickens and cows here. Uh, 
like I said, long before you were born, there were other domestic animals living in this barn but they are but they eventually either passed away or moved to a different neighborhood (sighs) well goodbye goodbye hannah bye clara (sighs) bye chickadee Chickens don't quack, ducks do. Oh, pakak, 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 pakak. Well, I'll see you later. Ba. Um, goats don't ba, sheep's do. Ba. Whoopie, whoopie. Horses don't bray, donkeys bray, horses neigh. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Goodbye, Hannah. So there used to be domestic animals living on this living on this farm. It was basically like it was basically like so this barn was generally a nursing home for other animals for a variety of species. And that's the story of how this barn suddenly became abandoned. So I'm going to go graze on grass. No, well, I'm going to go take a shower. And when I come back, you better be standing right here like you are now. Or else (sighs) you're going to be punished. Okay, Mom, but what if I get hungry? Well, I don't know. Just... Um, I don't know, just don't go outside. A predator could attack you. Okay, Mom. You know what? I don't care what my mom say. I need to go outside. I'm so hungry. I need to go eat grass or something. Uh, She still left those leftover fruits. (sighs) (laughs) Dancing in the mirror. Singing in the shower, dancing in the mirror, singing in the shower, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's all my supply. I need shampoo. Let me pour some shampoo on my hair. There we go. I need to cut my hair too. It's getting too long. And a longer mane means it could come con- it could potentially trip me there now it's time to start bathing bathe every part of me including my mane and tail i need to trim my hooves too let me cut my hooves uh I'm anxious. I'm anxious about stuff. Ah, that hurt a little bit. Ah, I hope Heidi is where I told her to be. I hope she didn't venture out and go outside. If she did, she is in for a rude awakening. What's all this delicious fruit right there? Hey, what? Is that a mountain lion? Don't don't approach or touch that fruit. I laid that fruit here so I laid that fruit here so a young horse could potentially go by and find it. So I put that fruit right there as a trap, as a bait. So when the horse so when the horse goes right there in an attempt in an attempt to eat the fruits, I'll jump out and ambush it. I'm using vegetation. What's a pineapple doing here? I'm using vegetation to hide from the horse so the horse doesn't notice me. Because if the horse notices me, that could ruin the ambush. (sighs) Get out, get out. What? Oh my gosh, there is a supply of fruit already there. A pineapple? I hope my mother doesn't find me. Because if she finds out I snuck out the house, she will kill me. The horse is falling for it. Time to ambush. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, help me! Help me! Heidi! Heidi, where are you? Heidi! Oh my gosh, Heidi! Is that a mountain lion? Mom, help me! Oh my gosh!
gosh, get off of her! <clears throat> yeah! Uh, 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 ow! Uh, get off of her! How dare you! I need to I need to put my 2,000 pound kick on you. Ow! Are you okay, Heidi? I'm sorry, Mom. I should have listened to you. I should have not. I, I should have not went out the house. I should have not snuck out the house. It's okay. You were hungry. I should have just gave you some food. We had grass. We had alfalfa in the hay. We had alfalfa hay in the house. I was just too lazy to give you it because I was so focused on myself and not you. I'm so sorry. Good thing you're okay, Heidi. Thanks, Mother. Thank you so much. That mountain lion set that fruit there as a trap or a bait, I'm guessing. I'm guessing the mountain lion put that fruit right there as bait. And I think the mountain lion knew I was going to fall for it because I was so hungry. That mountain lion is pretty clever. I'll get you next time. No, you won't. Not if I have anything to say about it. Ow! Oh my gosh! I need to tell Peter. <laughs> yeah, that's way. Run away, you... Cougars are typically... Cougars do not typically prey on adult horses. Go on, you big domestic cat. I am anything but a domestic cat. I am a mean, lean hunting machine. <sighs> huh, little crybaby. Uh, uh, I'm so stupid, and I fell for the trap anyway. Well, you were hungry, and I feel like, and I feel like any animal who is hungry will go to desperate lengths to get their, to get their catch. Uh, speaking, there's vegetation all over the floor. I'm guessing the cougar was hiding in vegetation. It was trying to camouflage itself from me. Because if I saw the mountain lion, I would have definitely ran away into the wilderness or ran back into the house. Probably ran back into the house. <sighs> I'm so glad you're alive. You'll always be my sweet little horse. Hallelujah! I hope you guys like this video. Blooper scenes. Hallelujah! But 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 I'm just I'm just so I'm just so stupid I fell for it. So I'm guessing the cougar was right there and it and it and it put up it put up a a a trap. <laughs> I got stuck there. I was stirring. I stirring. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> yeah yeah. Okay, so I need to cut my mane because it could potentially. What, what is potentially? That's not even a word. It could potentially trip me. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Water, water, get in color. Let me put some shampoo on my hair. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, horsey people.